Hi, I'm Laughing Woman, and I'm doing a reading here so that we can look into the coming week and figure out how we want to use our energy in relation to the energies of the week. The first card is one of water, happiness. Second card is Achiever of Air, Learning. The third card is Four of Water, Serenity. The fourth card is Mystic of Air, Communication. And the fifth card is Three of Earth, Ingenuity. This is really a fun looking week to me. Um, first, I want you to notice that for most of the week, we're going back and forth between emotion and thought, emotion and thought. So um, be prepared that you'll be thinking things and then feeling into them, feeling things and then thinking about them. That's kind of a dominant theme for the week. We begin the week with happiness. I love starting my week out that way. And this is just that pure, basic, I'm just happy from the inside out kind of happiness. Let yourself really enjoy that. And from happiness, move into learning something new or expanding your knowledge about something you already know. There's just a lot of enthusiasm this week for gaining more knowledge. Do this in a way that works well for you. You don't have to sign up for a long, heavy class, or you can if you want to. You can also just read a book or read the news. It doesn't make any difference. Just learn something new there. In the middle of the week, take a little break and just be. Just enjoy some of the beauty in life. Just sit and contemplate what really works well for you in life, what you enjoy about being here in this lifetime. This is a great time to just feel the peace of your soul. From serenity, we move into communication. Make sure that you're communicating clearly with yourself and with others toward the end of the week. Now, when I talk about communicating clearly with yourself, what I'm talking about is be honest with yourself about what you're thinking and feeling, about what you want to do in the world. You don't need to pull any punches with you. Just be completely honest. With other people, communicate very clearly so that what you're trying to say is actually understood. When you get to the end of the week, it's time for some ingenuity. Now this is wide open creativity and it's typically applied practically. When we're being ingenious about something, we're trying to do something that is a normal activity in a new and different way. And maybe that's because you don't have the normal tools or props or supplies that you usually do. So you've got to get in, you've got to improvise a little bit. Maybe it's because you just want to do something differently. But for whatever reason, open up that creativity and let yourself find some playful, fun, new ways to do whatever it is you're doing. So in summary for the week, Thinking and feeling are really important this week. Process your emotions. Feel your thoughts. Be happy. Play in that happiness. Learn something new. Take time to just be in the peace of your soul. Communicate clearly with yourself and others. And at the end of the week, get ingenious. Let your unique creativity take center stage for a little while with something. Have a really fun, playful week.